in this video I will be comparing a free $100 running shoe to a pair that costs only $40. If you watched one of my last videos, you saw that I bought these. The Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent, which are Nike's most expensive uh, pair of running shoes. And after spending all of that money on these shoes, I thought to myself, how much of a difference is there really between these and Nike's cheapest uh, running shoe? So that is what I will be digging into in today's uh, video. I will be doing a blind test to see if I actually can feel a difference between the shoes. And I will be comparing the running economics between the shoes. And I will also simply test uh, how fast I can run in uh, the different shoes. But first I gotta find and buy Nike's uh, cheapest running shoe. So let's just finish up this run and see what I can find uh, online when I get back home. That was a super nice little morning run and also a luxurious one with the Nike Alpha Flies. I'm getting spoiled with those shoes so let's instead buy some really cheap ones here. So what I will do is that I will find Nike's cheapest pair of running shoes on their own uh, web shop. So first let's sort off their price beginning with the highest. So these are the Alpha Fly shoes that I have. And uh, even though they are expensive in America they are way more expensive in Norway. Here in Norway they cost almost $400. Uh, but uh, let's sort after the cheapest uh, instead and see what we can find here. Okay, so here we have some cheap shoes, uh, $40 for these, not bad. These are the cheapest, they look pretty minimalistic. Uh, uh, let's see, okay, but they are not in my size. Uh, so let's see if these for 42 bucks uh, are in my size. Yes, they are in my size, okay, so these will be the ones I will uh, go for. They are called the Nike Renew Run and it says they are designed with the everyday runner in mind. And they, they look pretty comfortable but I'm uh, really curious how they will feel compared to my Alpha Flies. The Nike Renew just arrived so let's start the uh, testing. So here we have the $40 running shoe. Let's start off the comparison with comparing the weight between these and the Alpha Flies. Three hundred and forty-eight grams for the Nike Renew Run, and the Alpha Flies weighing at two hundred and thirty-five grams. So the Nike Alpha Flies are at least a lot more lightweight than the Nike Renew Run. So my next test will be the blind test, and for that I think I need my wife Elin's help. <laughs> Elin, I need your help to tie my shoes. <laughs> you can't tie your shoes. <laughs> I'm doing a blind test. <laughs> Can you please help me tie my shoes for me? <laughs> so how this will work is that Elin will choose uh, any of these uh, two pair of shoes and uh, tie them to my feet. And without looking I will go out and of course I will remove my blinds when I, when I go out running but then I will not look down. And I, then I will see if I can feel which uh, are which. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so then I will... Can you lead me to the door? <laughs> Okay, so pretty immediately I think I know which shoes uh, I'm wearing. You know uh, which shoes I'm wearing, I do not know, but uh, these shoes feel uh, very bouncy. I can really feel the energy return, so probably you <laughs> know which shoes I think it is, but I will wait until I try the other pair to give my final verdict of uh, which I think is which. But yeah, these shoes feel amazing. You feel fast in these shoes, <laughs> so much I can say. I'm getting my blinds on. Okay. <laughs> okay, I found the shack. Thank you for tying my shoes. I used to work in a shoe store, so... <laughs> yeah, so you, you have a special skill set for tying other people's shoes. <laughs> They're on? Okay, so let's try the other pair of shoes. Yeah, these shoes feel uh, comfortable as well. And yeah, they feel pretty nice, but they feel way different than the first pair I was wearing. The first pair, you really get the bounce back and then you return. 
these are pretty well cushioned but you don't get that energy return in each step so I'm pretty sure that these are the Nike Renew the $40 ones so now I'm looking down let's see yes I was right <laughs> I have now ran with both of these shoes a bit more and as I said in my blind test for sure the Alpha 5s felt a lot more bouncy and the feeling of energy return you get from these are way bigger. But with that said I also liked uh, the Nike Renew. They, they do not feel that fast but they have a comfortable fit and the cushioning is pretty okay. Not as cushioned as uh, these ones but I still enjoyed the feeling of running in these. But uh, with that said, these felt a lot faster. But let's check if that was just a feeling I got or if these actually will perform a lot better in my test as well. So let's go out and see how fast uh, these shoes actually are. I'm ready to do the main testing between the $40 running shoes and the $300 running shoes. And the testing I will do now is that I will run 6 interval repetitions of 1 km on the exact same route on the road behind me here. And between each interval rep I will be switching between the two shoes. And I will be trying to hit 3 minutes and 20 seconds for each interval rep. And when I get back home, I will just uh, compare my average heart rate uh, for the intervals that I ran with the Nike Renew Run and the Nike Alpha Flights. And that should give me a pretty good indication of how good the running economics are in the different shoes. And it's a lovely day to run some intervals here, so let's just get the warm up done and then uh, see how it feels to run fast in these $40 running shoes. I'm done with the sixth and last interval and it felt uh, good, especially on the intervals I ran with the Alpha Fly. But uh, once again, it didn't feel bad either with the Nike Renew Run. But I just felt that I had to work a little bit harder to keep the same pace with those shoes. The final testing of the shoes that I will do is an all out speed test, and then I will just simply do an 80 meters all out sprint here. Also, here six times three times with the cheap shoes and three times with the expensive shoes. And of course, with a long rest in between to recover. And then I will compare my average uh, split time for that 80 meter sprint. So let's just uh, get this session finished with some sprinting. I'm not the fastest guy, but it will be fun to try to run fast and see. How fast the shoes saw. So I'm done with my testing and the session, which turned out to be a pretty good session as well. And I will just jog back home and then I will share the results of my test with you. It's time for the fun part to share my results from the testing with you. But before I share the results, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button to this video if you liked it. And if you want to see more videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support this channel and my videos even more, you can also check out my Patreon page where you will get an exclusive podcast, training programs and different behind the scenes stuff. So there's a link to that uh, Patreon page in the description to this video as well. Okay, so how did actually this $40 shoe compare to the $300 ones? Here I have the test results and for my 1 km intervals, my average pace with the Alpha Flies was 3 minutes and 15.5 seconds and for the Renew Run it was 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Uh, so pretty spot on, the same pace, just a half uh, seconds faster with the Alpha Flies. And uh, when I saw this I thought okay I think the average heart rate will be way higher with the Renew Run. But to my big surprise the average heart rate for both of these shoes was 153.3 .3 
beats per minute. So no real difference there and just a half of a second difference in how fast I ran the intervals. So the $40 shoe did for sure not perform bad in my testing. But a slight disclaimer, these uh, tests are of course not super scientific. And also I think the Nike Renew Run got a little bit of an advantage because I started out the first interval in uh, those shoes. But still really interesting and cool to me to see that uh, they were so close in this uh, test. And when it came to my speed test, I also here was just slightly faster with the Nike Alpha Flies. Uh, my average split there was 13.6 seconds with the Alpha Flies and 13.8 seconds with the Nike Renew Run. So what's the takeaway from this comparison? First of all, you for sure do not need to buy a super expensive pair of running shoes to enjoy running or even to run fast. The difference you can do with just doing good training is far beyond what you can get from running shoes. So don't be stressed if you can't afford to buy one of these really expensive running shoes. If you have the budget and think they will motivate you to do more running, just go for it because as I said earlier, they are really fun to run in and that bouncy feeling is really cool. And I also think it's a bit easier on your legs when you do hard sessions. But as I said, I also enjoyed a lot to run in the $40 ones. So that's such a cool thing with running that it really doesn't have to be expensive in any way. Hope you liked this video and if you want me to do other shoe videos or comparison, just comment down below what you would like to see. And as always, thanks for watching, train smart, have fun and I will see you in the next video.